Alright guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and do a 4F200 uh, upgrade settings with the Hobbywing Skywalker uh, 20 amp speed controller. Um, now this thing really is an upgrade from the stock speed controller. This is a stock speed controller I have here separate that the capacitor went bad on. Otherwise this thing still actually works. Um, so I just cut off the motor leads and wrapped it in tape. And now I use it for programming my uh, speed controller. Um, the programming cards and stuff, I just didn't want to spend the money. This thing actually works uh, with the controller pretty well, so this is what we're going to do. Um, now I just want to disclaim that if you follow this, do it so at your own risk. Um, it is possibly dangerous to your electronics and things can fry. Uh, it does go against um, basically Ohm's law. I'm not sure what the inner workings that are preventing anything from smoking here are, but um, this has worked for me every time without fail and at the end I'm going to do a little test with the 2612 just to ease anybody's mind. Um, now if you have a 2702 or a Beast X something, you know, the uh, Spectrum, uh, what's it, the uh, 7200 with Beast X, that might have a throttle, uh, a secondary throttle port that can uh, let you program your throttle limits correctly and all those kind of things and just has more features but these receivers don't so what we're going to have to do um, I've tried everything else this is the only way I can get mine to work so you turn on the receiver plug in the secondary to your second battery pack and let it bind up um, this light will turn solid the swash will level out um, after the link up there we go, we're bound up. Okay, so since the receiver is beeping, that's indicating in the manual here. Um, I don't know if it'll focus to see this, but it says that the um, input voltage is abnormal, too high or too low. So what we want to do um, now is assume that it's too low because it's not smoking. Uh, we're going to turn the throttle up to maximum. Um, you might want to have your motor disconnected, uh, but as you can see, since it's in protection mode, it doesn't spool up. Uh, so you go ahead and plug in the speed controller to the battery on the heli, disconnect the other one quickly, and it will go into programming mode. Okay, and what I'm trying to do now is change the startup mode from normal to soft and um, that's one solid long beep. Uh, when it gets there, we'll move the throttle down to enter that menu function. And that's the next one. Okay. Uh, normal mode is one beep, soft is two. So we go yes for two, and then down again to exit the setup. Okay, now the two beeps uh, indicate that it's a two cell pack and the one beep after it indicates that it is initialized properly and at this point it will spool up on you. So turn on your throttle hold or disconnect your battery. Um, that is all set for now. Um, so what we're going to do just to ease anybody's minds, we're going to unplug these uh, two speed controllers and plug them into the 2612. Um, to the not used here and on this one we're going to go to the um, throttle port there we go and the throttle port all right and we're going to plug in this battery um, I'll go ahead and bind it to the transmitter Oops, too quick there Okay, solid light, um, solid light, now we're bound, and this is the second battery plugged in. <laughs> plugged it in a little too tight, I don't like doing that. Okay, um, so we'll just watch it here for a second. I've done this before, so I know that this thing is not going to smoke. It doesn't even seem to get warm. It doesn't seem to have any problems. It actually seems like the speed controllers are uh, bypass. I don't. I don't really know what's going on, but um, it's taken the full um, 12 volts here, basically, from these two packs. Um, 14 volts actually. 
uh, so it's more than 14 volts, but uh, so yeah, yeah, it's not still not smoking. So uh, I've done it before, and I know you know that's just my experience. And like I said, this is what I do. It's still risky. Uh, so if you're gonna you know try this, do it at your own risk. Um, I hate these bullet connectors. I'm going to be switching them uh, and then plug this back over here. Um, plug this one back over here. And uh, attempt fade again here. Do 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 do. That's two batteries hooked up again. No problem. Disconnect the second one. Um, no problems. Um, so as far as I can tell, the only issue uh, here is that these receivers don't have any way to enter programming mode uh, because they have protection built in. So, uh, yeah. And uh, like I said, just be careful and uh, thanks for watching.